Extremist Islam explodes, caught Harry being pushed into a police car after his Taliban statement. Hello, friends. Welcome to the breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. The coverage of Harry's statement that he had killed 25 Taliban members has been relentless. By 5 p.m., there was no mention of it, though, on any news bulletin, interestingly enough. In fact, there was a total TV news blackout when it came to Harry. And now we are hearing exactly what went on behind the scenes. So apparently at 2.30 p.m., the UK security services got involved. Harry's immature and irresponsible statement was considered to be very dangerous, and understandably, he had attracted the attention of some not very good people out there, some Islamic extremists all around the world. MI5 and MI6 would of course have picked up on it, and that raised concerns. The Prime Minister, along with the King, of course would have been drawn into the conversation too. Harry did so much damage, we can't even calculate it. It was astounding. Harry gave propaganda ammunition to the Taliban. And apparently, MI5 got news that an Islamist extremist was urging followers to target British troops. So he tried to whip up some violent action. He issued a threat to British troops who were stationed in Islamic countries. And he was urging Muslims to target them in Syria, North Africa, and Iraq. Both security services and top politicians have condemned Harry's statement and their warning of an increased threat to the royal family and the armed forces too. Thanks to his idiocy, Harry single-handedly raised security levels in the UK. Harry thinks that his life of privilege and entitlement gave him the right to say whatever he wants to say, even if it puts other people's lives at risk. There are no words to describe how dumb this man is. And now, people are talking about how Harry has really made the Invictus Games a target for extremists. After midnight, TV channels were given an all-clear to talk about Harry, albeit in a somewhat different tone. So people interviewed suggested that Harry was not the same Harry anymore and that he really needed help to adapt. Any further mention of him killing 25 Taliban members was strictly out of bounds. The King, the Prime Minister, and security services all agree that Harry's recklessness is really putting people's lives in danger. Returning soldiers never go on TV and brag about how many insurgents they killed. It's just something that's not done. Veterans barely ever talk about these experiences, even with their own family members. So it is astounding that Harry and Meghan were so thoughtless, so careless, that they thought it was okay for him to say what he did. So what about the coronation? Would it even be safe for the royals to get together if Harry's there? Talk about having a target on one's back. And efforts are now going to be made by the palace to reinstate Charles as the number one royal who will attract publicity. Because today, unfortunately, he slipped down to number two thanks to his son Harry. And now we've got this publicity-shy Harry and Meghan who claimed that they wanted to live a private life away from the institution. And Harry is agreeing to not one, not two, not three, but four TV interviews in the UK and America to promote this ridiculous book and also to have an opportunity to annihilate the family that gave him everything he has today. Thanks to King Charles and his reluctance to deal with Harry and Meghan, lives are now at risk and security levels have certainly been increased. And we can absolutely blame Harry and Meghan for all of this, and let's do it. I mean, the two of them are not only idiots, but they are so careless, reckless, really. And let us not allow Penguin Random House and everybody else who pushed this along to get away scot-free. They also deserve some of the blame. You cannot convince me that no one there, nor their lawyers, didn't know that causing an international crisis and putting lives in danger was what Harry was doing. I'm pretty sure the publisher may be facing some lawsuits soon enough. There are way too many people that Harry mentions in the book, and I'm sure they did not give permission for him to do so. So what, did the executives at Penguin Random House decide that Meghan and Harry were suddenly telling the truth and had proof to back up what they tried to say? Have all of their heads been so far up each other's butts this whole time that they didn't even know the two of them were lying? I dare say Penguin Random House in the end of all of this is not going to make a cent. In fact, they'll probably end up losing money thanks to all the lawsuits. There is going to be massive fallout from this, from the people and their representatives interviewed who were not happy to be with Meghan by sneak attack. 
And Harry's not finished with the interviews yet. Oh, no. So I'm sure we can expect more foot-in-mouth examples. The coronation is in great danger right now. What leaders are going to want to get together for it with tally threats out there? And the folks at Invictus have not yet cut ties with Harry. We haven't seen any televised coverage yet. From this point on, any organization that allows itself to be even remotely connected to anything surrounding Meghan and Harry is going to deserve exactly what they get, because at this point, I think everybody knows better. And I'm also including all of those journalists who talk with them, like Cooper and Bradbury and Hoda, Gail, Oprah, all of them. It doesn't matter how sick little Harry is, he's a danger to the monarchy. So it's really important that the royal family does something to put him in his place, or else I'm afraid that little George will never see the throne and maybe not William either. If Harry and Meghan are not dealt with decisively one way or another, then things are going to come to a head by their own hands, and the royal family will be put in a situation where the situation is resolved in a way that they did not get to choose. Clearly, Harry is sick in the head, and he's totally under Meghan's control. She's a narcissistic sociopath, and she tries to dominate everybody. And if she does not manage to dominate somebody, then she tries to hurt them. And because of that, Meghan Markle is a very dangerous person. Nobody should be taking anything that Meghan says seriously. She's living in some kind of delusional fantasy world where she views other people as her little dolls to play with. Taking her advice and following her influence his whole life is being destroyed piece by piece as Megan is smirking in the background and she talks to him like he is a piece of garbage on global TV. Harry is disgusting along with that evil witch who he married. This is a matter of national security. It is very serious. Harry's whining isn't funny anymore and it sure is not endearing. It's just dangerous for him, for Meghan and their invisible kids as well as the British royal family, the people of the UK and even the Montecito neighborhood they call home. It's time to cut him off and shut him up. I think it's time for the king to do something drastic like disown him and Meghan too, take away their titles and just cut them off from the family completely, cut off all the money and declare him to be unwell in the head, insane if you will. They are such a waste of space. They think that it's just all fun and games going around bragging about things like that. I know plenty of men who did serve in wars and believe you me, they never discuss what happened. This imbecile has single-handedly put a target on his whole country of birth and the family that allowed him such a lavish upbringing, too. Now, in the olden days, royalty used to send the not-so-well-mentally family members back to mental institutions. They kept them far away enough from the public where no harm could be caused. It's really a shame they didn't do that to Harry. One American posed the question, I actually have a question and I hope someone can answer it. Harry and Meghan have said some really disrespectful, rude, and in my opinion, straight out lies to make the royal family and the monarch look bad. We have been told that they have the right to say everything they have said. I am an American and I understand free speech. My question is, where is the line of what Harry and Meghan are doing is considered treason? Harry's book, rumor is that Meghan helped to write portions of it, has raised security issues for the UK and possibly in the US, and definitely security issues for the coronation. Is he weeding until someone dies as a consequence of what Harry and Meghan has said that it becomes treason? What is the line that is considered too far and King Charles has to intervene? To be honest, I would have thought that these two would have shut up already, but they have proven that they aren't going to. I don't think giving in to them is the answer because it will just encourage them to do this even more when they don't get their way. At the same time, ignoring them isn't doing anything either. I think it is time to think about letting them learn a lesson about the consequences of their actions. Yes, they will whine about it, but I think there are far more people that are tired of these two and understand why there are consequences. And what about you? What do you think about Harry's thoughtless statements that put the UK in danger of security? Let us know your thoughts below in the comments section. We hope you have found this video helpful. And don't forget to leave us a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll be back to see you in the next videos. Bye-bye now.